Hey, what's good? It's your boy Samster. Um, I was actually just now I was doing some new tracks. Um, problem is, you know, I have a bad habit of writing lyrics and then not finishing them sometimes, you know, leaving them for another day or leaving them for the next couple minutes when I think of some lyrics and I, I get distracted by something and I go do some whatever. So, you know, I had a couple freestyles I was going to do, a couple older ones because I didn't really feel like. I didn't really, you know, it's later right now, and I should have been writing or before whenever I had a chance, but I didn't. I left it till now. Um, so, you know, I was writing a new song, whatever. Um, it, it was coming out really good, and then, of course, I got writer's block. I got stuck. I really couldn't think of nothing, and I recorded some of it. And I said, you know what? Um, you know, before I think of more lyrics, why don't I just, you know, I have this energy, this vibe. You know, I haven't really been doing music in a while, so why not? Just go do other tracks that I already wrote the whole song out. Maybe even started on GarageBand already, and why don't I go finish it? So, first song I go to, I was flipping through my book earlier, and I, I saw I wrote a freestyle to uh, No Apologies, which is one of my all time favorite Eminem songs. And I'm thinking, alright, nice, this is an awesome song by Eminem. He always wanted to freestyle over it. And a song like that is a song where I can really get out of my feelings, whatever's on my mind, stuff that's stressing me out, and it's really like a powerful song. And it's not one of those songs where I go off and I'm acting silly and trying to make people laugh. It's one of my serious songs. I don't do that a lot, but I do it once in a while. And uh, today was one of those nights where like, I was going to go smoke some bud, but I only got a little bit left and I want to save it, you know. So... I didn't really feel like I had to smoke weed. Like I, I don't fiend for it. I just do it because that's what I like doing. It's a hobby, and whatnot. But I don't have to do it every day. I don't have to do it all the time. I don't even have to do it every week. It's just, I guess, when the time is right or if I'm stressed out and I feel like I need it. But you know, other than that, I don't really need to smoke it. Bogies, that's another problem. But um, so yeah, I was still in the Eminem, uh, no apologies, and it was coming out good. And then I realized. I didn't finish writing it, and I got upset, I got tired, I said, you know what, alright, I recorded at least half of it, I'm going to save it, and I'll come back to it like tomorrow or something, I'll finish it, and that's it with that song, I said, let me think of another song I have to do, and I thought, oh yeah, I told everyone I was going to do all these necro freestyles, so, you know, I already had the crazies planned out, that was really supposed to be my next song after in, in, um, Insane Allergy, so I finished, I, I figured, I mean, that, um, might as well go to that. That's the most obvious song to do it right now. You know, that was supposed to be the next song on YouTube. But this was supposed to be uploaded already. But I didn't finish it because the thing with um, the Crazies, it's obviously the metal remix. So I like it. But I like the other instrumental for it too. You know, the one, it's on the Mr. Hyde CD. The uh, Barn, Barn of the Naked Dead. A good album right there. A lot of crazy shit. Um, I really liked it. So it had that like horror movie feeling to it. Not just the necro horror shit, but it just felt like the whole theme was like a horror movie, and it was just really cool, um, especially with the instrumentals and stuff. But with that one, that was one of the tracks that didn't just have Mr. Hyde. It had Mr. Hyde, it had Ill Bill, um, I think it was Gore-Tex, and then Necro. Uh, I don't think that's the exact order, but it was something like that. So I had this idea that each verse, I would kind of, not go into another character, but like I would change the way my voice sounds. You know, with the effects, each, each verse out of the four would have a different effect. And each verse would talk about different stuff. Like, one verse would kind of represent Ill Bill, especially kind of how he is now and how he was with nonfiction. About, like, Illuminati, conspiracy stuff. And then Mr. Hyde's was going to be, like, the more horror, killing, and crazy shit. And then, you know, each one was something different. And... Uh, the way I wrote it, I didn't really write it neatly. I didn't organize it that much. I should have just done each verse by verse. Instead, I just did the whole thing out. And I got bits and pieces of it done, but there's a lot of gaps. And, you know, like I, I skipped around. Like I'll do one verse, and then I kind of got writer's block, and then I'll switch to another one. Write a little bit, and then switch to the other one. And then it's just, it. if you look at it, you would think it's just one song. Like it's not organized at all. And, yeah. Um, but as for Necro, I'm going to show you some other ones that I'm going to do. Just give me a second. I'll find the playlist. Um, 
Um, I would like to do one way or another. Light my fire. And for those of you who don't know, if you've seen Random Samson, this old stupid video I made about me being hyper and retarded. Um, the song Light My Fire was actually featured in the third one, I think it was, where I had the retarded mustache and I was going like this. That was pretty much around that time when I filmed that. That's when I first started listening to Necro. Yeah, little Samster fact. Oh, and the new track actually was going to have beautiful music for you to die to as instrumental. Because I tried to make it instrumental, but, you know, even though I got that new i uh, Life 09, GarageBand is very limited, and I can't really be as creative as I want to be with GarageBand. It's very limited, and sometimes it just doesn't feel that need for the instrumental I'm looking for. And it sucks sometimes. said that one already. Another one I really want to do is Rugged Shit. It's an awesome song. It's one of his classic songs. It's just awesome. Sounds like pure evil and just, it's crazy. Um, the most statistic I, I did, Underground, I'm probably going to do. Um, I might do a redo of Can't Fuck With This, because as you all know, the other one was a diss to, uh, I don't even remember his name, that's how unimportant he is, but it was a diss to this guy who started talking shit on my YouTube page, and I made a diss track out of boredom, I was kind of, you know, the last diss track I made, I really shouldn't have made, and though, I don't, I didn't even up, did it, no, I didn't even upload it on here, it was on my MySpace, for those of you who have been following me since the days I was on MySpace, I started getting really big on there. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not going to even mention who it is, but actually, there's two other diss tracks I made. One guy I'm not going to mention, he was the first one. You're having issues. And I just really, at the time, wanted to do a diss track, and it just so happened that we were having issues, and I just exploded all over it. It wasn't that bad, but it was just what I said was fucked up. And I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> But the other one I did to this guy I used to wrestle with, this guy Kid Extreme, and I actually did that to a Necro beat. Um, the only thing I hated was back then, when I used to record, I didn't use headphones like I do now. And one of the main reasons why I use headphones is it helps me focus, helps me get into the groove of the song. But not only that, if I have to go in and edit and maybe move vocals, like if I decide I want to move to another part, usually if I do that without the, the headphones, um, when you hear the vocals by themselves, you hear parts of the instrumental. And when you move it, it sounds really bad, and that's a prime example of what happened with, uh, it was Kid Extreme. It was a diss I did to him. That was actually on MySpace, too. It was Dead Body Disposal. I might redo that one, too, because, I don't know. I mean, the lyrics weren't so bad. They were, they were okay for its time, I guess, but just the editing, and I tried to redo it. Because at the time, I didn't even have the real instrumental for it. I had it. You know, edit the actual song and loop it, and it was really retarded. So, I redid it like last year, the year before, when I actually got the instrumental, put it in, and of course, with the vocals, since I wasn't using headphones, you could hear parts of the other looped instrumental over the vocals with the real instrumental, and it sounds stupid. But, I mean, you know, I gotta go finish the driveway tomorrow with my dad, so I really can't just stay up and write lyrics and whatnot, I wish I could, but it's always tomorrow after I'm done, you know, and plus it's hot as hell in here, I already took out the AC and I'm sweating and I actually need a drink and a bogey and I'm about to go to sleep, so, yeah, but you can still listen to other stuff while you're waiting for new music, uh, I'll try not to keep you waiting too long, alright, thanks, peace, peace.